Hello everyone and welcome to Winchell Studio 11 Advanced 2 training. I am Mia Ezola from Atotech, your Winchell partner in the Nordics, and I'm here to guide you through our three training packages, Basic, Advanced 1 and 2. These packages are designed for new Winchell users with a developer license. We are now in the Advanced 2 training package, which includes cell-based mapping, conditions, long texts, and making scripts available for the runner users. This is the third part of that package, and we will go through the use of long text fields. Let's dive in. Long texts are fields in SAP for descriptions or instructions, like sales text, purchasing text, or item text. These texts can be updated or read with Winchell. Using the traditional recording approach, we are able to handle long text fields, but we need to pay attention to the recording mode, whether it's standard batch or GUI scripting, and also to the view or screen in SAP. For certain SAP transactions, we don't need to record the individual long text fields. Rather, it's enough to record the other needed steps in that transaction, and the long text fields are fetched automatically by Windshuttle. Let's start with the automatic approach that's available for certain transactions. Within these transaction codes, there's no need to navigate to the long texts while recording. Record everything else in the transaction as you normally would, and then while mapping, look for the Add Long Text feature in the Map menu. From the pop-up window, you are able to select the text types you wish to add to your script. Your selected long text fields are shown at the end of the script. Along with the actual text field, a key information field is also added. In the example, that's the sales document number on row 4. Also, just beneath the run log, you will see a log field for the long text which will display any issues with the long text in Excel. These added long text fields you can map to or from Excel by dragging and dropping. For the key information, you can drag and drop both sales document numbers. That is, for the complete script and for the long text in the same Excel column to avoid having the same information twice in Excel. Now, if we need to, or we want to, do a traditional recording for a long text field, we need to consider how to do it in SAP, which screen view to use. The two options are the default view and the line view. Using the default view, the text will be recorded as one field, so one block of text. And using the line view, each text row is treated as a field of its own. That means you need to decide how many rows you will have in your script. And considering there's a maximum length for a single text row, it means that you also decide on the maximum length of your text. Besides the screen view in SAP, we also need to consider the recording mode to be used if and when we take the traditional approach to recording a long text field. Going for the GUI scripting mode means that you can almost forget about the screen views in SAP as you are able to use either of the views to update and read the long text field. However, GUI scripting mode should be your last option because of its difficulties and slowness in general. Opting for the batch mode, you are able to update the text using the line view in SAP. And using the standard mode, you can do updates to the text in either one of the screen views and also read the text using the line view. There are restrictions as to what screen view works with what recording mode, and can you get data going to SAP or from SAP. You can look at the issue, as we just did, from the recording mode perspective, but you can also start from the perspective of the screen view in SAP. If you would prefer to use the default view and have your text mapped to one Excel column, you need to use the standard recording mode. Of course, GUI scripting mode is an option, but I'm leaving it aside as it should be the last resort like discussed previously. Using the default view and the standard recording mode, you're able to do updates only to SAP. 
so no reading of text. Done this way, the recorded long text fills will be shown at the end of the script, and you can do the drag and drop. But the long texts cannot reside inside a loop or a condition. Keeping these restrictions in mind, it can be very useful and user-friendly to handle the text as one block, a single field. Using the line view, each line of text is considered a separate SAP field, and they need to be mapped to separate Excel columns. The generated SAP fields are identified with a row number in brackets at the end of the technical field name. Funnily enough, the numbering starts from 2 instead of 1. So 02 in brackets means row 1, and 03 means row 2. You can update the text here using the batch or standard modes, but if you wish to read the text, you need standard recording mode. Navigating to the line view in SAP should be fairly simple. In the default view, you should see an edit button and clicking it will take you to an editor screen, something that looks much like Microsoft Word. Don't make any text changes in that screen, but from the go to menu, select change editor and the line view is opened. If your script is about creating a new text from scratch, without any existing text, use your Enter key to pre-select as many text rows as you want to have. Then using only your mouse or arrow keys, go back to each pre-selected row and type in some text. Pre-selected rows will have a small star on the left side as opposed to the other rows that have a forward slash.
One quick trick to try if you initially get errors or similar with long text in the line view. Disable the word editor screen entirely from the script. And it's not a bad idea to use extended log for further information. Now the extended log tells me that the text was saved. That concludes the third part of our Advanced 2 package for Winchell Studio 11. So far, we have learned about cell-based mapping, conditions, and long text fields. Please join me in the next part, which is the last one for this package, covering how to distribute your scripts to runner users. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining.